NASA is in a new space race. It says a decision is imminent on which company will build the next generation vehicle for sending astronauts into space. As Manuel Bojorquez reports, that's made for some intense competition. This is Boeing Simulator for the CST-100, the capsule it hopes will ferry Americans into space. Boeing is one of three companies competing to build the successor to the space shuttle. A $4 billion contract is at stake. John Mulholland heads Boeing's program. There's a lot on the line here. Absolutely. Human spaceflight has been at our core since day one, all the way back to Mercury, Gemini, Apollo, the shuttle, the station. So you have that history there. Yeah, and it's provided uh, a lot of benefit to us just to have that experience that we can bring to bear. On. A competing design looks a lot like the space shuttle. It's called the Dream Chaser, and it's built by Sierra Nevada. The company has made parts for probes and satellites, but Mark Sarangelo told us this is his company's first manned spacecraft. It's hard to define what a win like this would be. It'd be. How do you win a gold medal in an Olympics when you've started in a small town and you've never been able to get any notice and all of a sudden you're on that Olympic stage? But the front runner may be billionaire Elon Musk with his SpaceX and its Dragon 2. SpaceX already flies unmanned cargo missions to the space station. Lift off the NASA now door. pays the Russians $80 million dollars a pop to get American astronauts there. NASA has already spent more than a billion on this competition. Is it going to be worth the money in the long run? The price NASA will pay will be significantly less, and just having that alternate mechanism to take people back and forth provides a level of redundancy that's important to the long-term viability of space station. The first flight to the space station is scheduled for 2017. Manuel Bajorquez, CBS News, Houston.